I'm here and I'm gonna go over everything you need for your vent install first obviously you need the vent can't build a vent without your vent um, and then you need a measuring tape to measure so that you don't screw up and have a hole in your van that's too big by measuring this handy-dandy piece of cardboard 14 by 14 to put on top of the roof you know You also need a jigsaw with a metal blade in order to cut through the metal. It's helpful because it says metal. So you're not going to screw that up. And then, obviously, your jigsaw. Rustoleum, or any type of rust. Some people use the one that you can paint on, but you can just spray this on. You're going to spray it around uh, anywhere that you cut the metal so that it doesn't rust, because that's your enemy. And then you're going to file it down, actually, before you spray. So you need a metal file. Tape. You're going to need this tape. Oh my gosh, there's dog hair all over it. All right. Safety. Lap sealant to protect from all the leaks uh, that could happen if you don't use it. Some butyl tape. This was ordered on Amazon. Recommend this one. Paper towels so nothing leaks. And then, uh, obviously, drill. You're going to need several types of drill bits, uh, smaller ones and then larger ones to start the holes before you use the jigsaw to cut the line. Um, and obviously, use the drill bits in before you screw in the vent fan. Sharpie to trace on the roof. And then, last but not least, this handy-dandy guy to vacuum up all the, the metal shavings on the roof and inside the van once you saw the hole in the roof. That's it. Pretty simple. Hi. <laughs> okay. Measure twice, cut once. Now we've perfectly cut a 14 by 14 square. I measured with this tape measure to make sure that it was a square before we start drilling. Okay. Right, let's think through this. So we've got everything we need to do, right? Drill the hole. Where are you drilling it? The corners. The inside of the corner? Yeah. Oh, we didn't put the uh, plastic bag up underneath. <laughs> All right, well.
so here we've taped down the half cut piece just so it's not flying everywhere when we do the other half of the uh, hole. That way it's easier. Last one, here we go. Ready? Here we go. Go. Dun, da, da, dun. Is it straight? I think straight enough. A little uh, curvature right there, but. <laughs> I'm taking a metal file and I'm gonna file it down to make sure there's not sharp edges on the metal before we spray it with the uh, Rust-Oleum because you definitely don't want your van to rust. So we put this, um, what do you call it? A garbage bag under where the hole is so that the metal shavings don't end up on the ground and it's just less pickup for later. So we had to make sure that this fits flush with the holes on the side. So before we actually drill the flange into the van, we're making sure of that. And that side matches up. Oh, I see what you're saying. Is your side done? Yeah. So basically, just now, my dad moved these up slightly to make sure that the fan is actually flush with the holes. Alright, so we are taking this butyl tape and we're going to tape it around the outside to make sure that it is fully protected from any leaking water and that's what we're going to do now. Ooh, some stringy stuff. Now that that's down, I am going to take this and put it on, right? Yeah, make sure it's square, you know? Make sure the metal pieces are to the outside. There you have it. Now it's time to drill the holes into the flange that's on top with the butyl tape. We are going to do pilot holes before we put the screws in to make sure that getting the screw isn't in is a little bit easier so it doesn't move everywhere. So 
Here we go. If I can get this camera figured out. I'm out of breath. I don't know if it's because I'm nervous or because drilling is hard. Pilot holes are done. I think I did a good job. Have it. A screwed in flange. All right. What's this called? Again? Silicone cock. G we are. <laughs> we are using silicone cock to make sure that it does not leak. Since we have some screws pointing out, we're just gonna cock the inside too because it can't hurt to make sure it doesn't leak because that would suck. Did yours go all the way in? Yeah. Let's go slow. All right, ladies and gents. Wait, oh. I'm too close. Okay. <laughs> First part complete. 